a regular pentagon has sides of 5 cm each. Find the area of regular pentagon. So we know pentagon 5 sides. So it's something like this. Okay, so something like this where all the side is 5 cm. So to use the formula of solution of triangle, we must have triangles. So make it into triangle. So you see here, if you connect it here, you get one triangle. And if you connect it here, you get another triangle. So this is one triangle, one triangle, two and triangle three. And as you can see, this triangle and this triangle is the same. So triangle one is equal to triangle three. And two is a different story. So you see here, the angle, so the angle for a pentagon, so exterior angle, is equal to 360 divided by sides which is 5 sides so we get 72 so interior angle is equal to 180 minus 72 which is equal to 108 so you see here exterior angle is here straight line which is 72 here so this one is 108 so we know to find area we need to have so either all line using Heron's formula or we have two lines in between one angle so we have this one two line in between one angle so we can find area one and three so area of one is equal to half so this uh, line is five five sine the middle one is hundred eight so we get eleven point eight 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 centimeter square so you see here you have this one angle in between two lines so you see to use cosine rule cosine rule you can do it if you have angle in between two lines so you can find the line here so the line here is equal to so cosine rule is equal to this line so we know that a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a where cos a this one is the angle in between and this is the two line so a square or this line is equal to b square this one is 5 and this one is 5 5 square plus 5 square minus 2 5 5 cos so we know this one is 108 so we get 65.4 or A is equal to 65.4508 which is equal to 8.0902. So we get here 8.0902. So here area 1. So, so here. So area 1 is equal to 11.888 cm square and A is 8.0902. So we know this one is isosceles triangle where this one and this one is equal. So the angle here must be equal. So angle here theta is equal to 180 minus 108 divided by 2. So we get... 36 so we know this one is 36 which means this one is also 36 and we know this total angle is 108 so 108 minus 2 36 is equal to 36 so formula of area so area of 2 is equal to half so here we have angle here in between two lines half this line is 0 8.0902 8.0902 times 8.0902 because this one is equal to this one so you see sine 36 so we get okay. 19.2357 centimeter square now we have area 2 and we know that area 1 is area area 1 is equal to area 3 so area so total area is equal to so area 1 times 2 
11.888 times 2 plus area 2 which is 19.2357. So we get 43.012 centimeter square. And 11 cm find the possible length of the third side. So we see here, so we have triangle here. So uh, area is equal to 30 centimeters square. And then the length of the two sides is 8 cm and 11 cm. So find the possible length of the third side. So we see here the area. So given the two lines, so the area here in between two angles, area is equal to half AB sine C. So for example, if we have theta in between 8 cm and 11 cm, so area is 30 cm is equal to half. So A is 8, B is 11, sine C. So sine C is equal to, so this one is 4. So we bring everything to the left. So we are left with 30 over 4 times 11 is 44. So C is equal to sine inverse 30 over 44 which is equal to Forty two point nine eight six degree. So this angle is forty two point nine eight six degree. So we see here in a quadrant, so this so sign can be positive in two quadrants in either the first quadrant or the second quadrant. So we see here when we get positive sign, so it can either be first quadrant or second quadrant. If the first quadrant, it is 42.986. If the second quadrant, or it can be 180 minus 42.986, which is equal to 42.986. Or 137.01 degree. So you see here, to use to use sine rule, you need to have one set of opposite of opposite set. But you don't have any opposite set, so you cannot use sine rule. But you can use cos rule. Cosine rule when you have all lines. Or you have angle in between two lines. So you see here, angle in between two lines. So you have angle in between these two lines. You can use cosine rule to find this one. So let this let this one be x. So cos rule, cosine rule. So x square. So cosine rule a square is equal to b square plus c square minus two b c cos a. So we see here BC. So we, so BC is here, and then this is the theta of cos A. So it's equal to so A. We let it be x. So x square is equal to B square is. So B square is this one eight square plus eleven square minus two. B is eight. This one is eleven. Cos. So we use this one first. Forty two point nine eight six. So we get. 56.252 so x is equal to third 56.252 which is equal to 7.5 centimeter or you see here this is the first one or this one 137.01 so here x square is equal to 8 square plus 11 square Minus 2 times 8 times 11 cos 137.01. So we get 313.739 where x is equal to 313.739 which is equal to 17.713 centimeter. 
So we see possible length of the third side is either 7.5 cm or 17.713 cm. The length of the sides of triangle are 3x x minus 1 and 3x plus 1. Given the perimeter of the triangle is 63 cm, calculate the area of the triangle. So we know we have this triangle where this one is 3x x minus 1 and 3x plus 1. So perimeter is 63 which means we added everything and get 63. So 3x plus 3x plus 1 plus x minus 1 is equal to 63. So 3x plus 3x plus x is 7x. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get is equal to 63. x is equal to 63 divided by 7 which is equal to 9. So you see here we have x is equal to 9. So here is 3 times 9 is 27. This one is 9 minus 1 is 8. And here is 9 time, uh, 3 times 9 is 27. 27 plus 1 is 28. So now we have uh, the sides of the triangle. So we see here when we have all lines, we can use Heron's formula. So, Heron's formula is that you need to find the semi-perimeter. Semi-perimeter is equal to, so it's given perimeter is 63. So, semi-perimeter is equal to 63 divided by 2. So, we get 31.5. So, using Heron's formula, so this one is 31.5 times so we have three bracket where we where we take 31.5 minus outside. So 31.5 minus 27 and here is 31.5 minus 8 and the third one is 31.5 minus. So we take 27, 8 so we have 28. So we get. Hundred seven point nine seven seven centimeter square.